Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is currently Wednesday, September 13th. It's like six o'clock. I'm about to film my empties video from August and I am looking outside and I'm so happy. It is very cloudy and we have a 30% chance of rain tomorrow morning, um, which this is probably the first cloudy time um, and also the first chance of rain that we've had in over 60 days here in Houston. So I'm so excited, you guys. We're going to get a cold front, really just like 70s to only like 91 for the next six days-ish. So I'm so happy. I literally, I cannot tell you how happy I am and excited I am for weather that is not exorbitantly hot. So yeah, very happy. Um, but today I am just chilling after work. I'm going to do this um, empties video and then I am going to paint my nails. Um, I got in a black gel nail polish and I'm really excited to experiment with it. So I think I'm just going to do like full, just regular black nail uh, polish. And then if I have time, I might experiment with some like sparkles or like drawing a moon and stars on it or something for kind of like Halloween vibes, but not quite since it's only September. So I'm very excited to try that out. But that's the vibes for tonight. We're just going to eat some leftover dinner. We made I made salmon bowls last night. So I'm just gonna have some leftovers of that and watch Vampire Diaries, which I just restarted watching it. Um, I think it just came on Peacock and it was recommended to me. So I'm rewatching Vampire Diaries. I did watch it like, not when it originally came out, but I think I was a little too young when it originally came out. I think it was out like right around the time I was in like middle school slash high school. I think it was a little too adult for me then. Um, not even like it's adult, but I don't know. I watched probably up till like the last season a few years back or in COVID and I just never finished. So I'm just going to rewatch it. I feel like it's the perfect time of year now that we're transitioning into fall, like just all the good cozy vibes. Elena Gilbert is just so beautiful. So yeah, very excited about that. So I'm going to go and record this video and I will catch up with you guys later. Thursday morning and I am getting ready for work. I'm about to put some makeup on and I just made a little really simple vanilla coffee. I'm gonna keep the makeup super simple this morning. I'm just gonna do brows, some light face makeup and like call it a day. But I wanted to update you guys on what's going on this weekend. So Ryan will be out of town. He is going with some friends to Dallas for the weekend to go see a comedian. So they will be gone. I think he's leaving Friday night, Friday after work, I wanna say. So I will be just me and Kai for Friday night, Saturday night, and then he comes home Sunday night. I don't really have any plans for Friday, just gonna chill, probably clean maybe, I don't know. And then Saturday, um, LSU plays Mississippi State, I think. And it's at 11, so it's a like, day game and so i'm gonna go over to my mom's house and bring kai with me and we're gonna watch the game and then i'm going to target with a friend to go fall decor shopping after i'm very excited to see what what target has for fall and halloween um i've been seeing all over like instagram and youtube that they just put out their halloween stuff so pretty excited to go check out what they've got i hope that the store that we go to has stuff, I'm sure it will because it's like a super target and it's one of the ones that's supposed to get all the new stuff first. So I'm really banking on it. 
So I'm definitely gonna show you guys what we find. And I definitely don't need, I don't have any room in my apartment to put any more decorations. <laughs> so I don't need anything. <laughs> so that's the plan for the weekend. Um, a lot of chilling. Saturday is really the only busy day. So I do wanna show you guys though, last night, I painted my nails black for Halloween and I did some little moons and stars. I'll show you guys a good close up later, but I think they turned out really cute. The right hand is not as good because I'm using my non-dominant hand to paint. So that's kind of difficult, <laughs> but I did my best. I tried. So that was kind of fun. And again, watching more Vampire Diaries. I'm gonna get going and finish my makeup and probably watch some Housewives. <laughs> and then um, I've got a few meetings today during work, so yeah. I guess I will talk to you guys later. Good morning, guys. It is currently Saturday, it's 10, 15 a.m. and I am getting ready. Just sipping on a little latte that I made and um, already had breakfast. I'm actually gonna head over to my mom's house to watch the LSU game today. It is at 11, so it's a little bit of an earlier game. Um, and I'm wearing my little baby tee. <laughs> I swear I love this, um, this brand. It's called Hype and Vice, and they do sell a lot of um, college athletic team clothing. They have a lot of really cute shirts. I just think it's like geared towards a younger crowd, so it's not just like the stuff that you buy from like the LSU store. Um, so I think it's really cute stuff. So I have this one. And then I also have like a purple and gold top that is half split down the middle, half purple, half gold. It's so cool. So I love this stuff. Um, I, I think this shirt is like so cute. But anyways, I'm just finishing up my makeup here about halfway through. And um, Ryan left for Dallas yesterday after work. So he's currently there. We actually just got off the phone. Um, he did a little run this morning. I did not <laughs> because I stayed up way too late watching The Summer I Turned Pretty. I finally finished it. I feel like I always watch the really emotional shows when Ryan is out of town so I can just sit on the couch and sob and not be judged. <laughs> not like he'll judge me, but like, you know. <laughs> so I watched that last night, probably like four or five episodes just to finish out season two and it was very emotional and I cried a lot and my eyes were swollen. It also didn't help that I was drinking wine. So, you know, there's that, but yeah, it was so good. I stayed up till like 1.30 watching it and really enjoyed last night. <laughs> but yeah, today just heading over to my mom's, I'm gonna decorate for fall for her um, because I did leave all of my decor at her house. <laughs> So I used to decorate um, my mom's house with Ray Dunn. I freaking, I was obsessed with Ray Dunn at that point in time. So I have a ton, I can't do eyeliner while I'm talking. I have a ton of Ray Dunn stuff at her house um, that I usually decorate for her every year, so. Oh yeah, my eyelid is so woolen. So anyways, I'm gonna, do my mascara and hop off of here and we will get over to my mom's house, decorate, watch some football. Anyways, now that I'm pretty much done with my makeup, I'm going to uh, do my hair, which I'm wearing it curly. Um, I'm wearing it natural this weekend. So I'm just gonna like re-wet it and add some more mousse and I will see you guys later. Well guys, we're 17 points up in the game, so it's going well. Um, they're on a little break right now, so I'm gonna show you my mom's decor, what we have so far, and guys just follow me around. <laughs> so if you've been here a while, you may remember this, um, but this is just like a little hutch. I love this piece of furniture, it's so beautiful, but this is how we decorate it just kind of normally, not really for any season. And then we've got the big dining room table, and then this glorious, beautiful hutch been in our family for, I don't know, like 20 something years, my dad. 
stained it himself and we uh, painted it during COVID this gray color. And this is how we have it decorated so far. I do usually like a, a lemon or like a honey bee theme for like spring and summer. And then this is the kitchen. Here's the kitchen table. And then this beautiful little coffee area. Um, this has also been in our family for a really long time. I think for a few generations actually. It's like an old um, face wash station. You put your towels right here and you'd have your um, little bowl of water right there. But this is like my little bee theme from spring and summer. I think it's so cute. And then we do have this little section too, just like a few things. This one isn't too fancy because my parents use this like every single day as their like coffee area, so. But while I have the game on, um, I'm just gonna like tilt the, ca the camera, tilt the TV so I can watch it and take down some of that summer decor and get ready for fall. All right guys, I am set up here with my Chick-fil-A lunch and I got the honey pepper pimento sandwich. Kai's sniffing it like crazy. I did take the jalapenos off just because I cannot handle jalapenos and I exchanged it for pickles. So I'm gonna test it on camera with you guys. You can see the pimento cheese. This would be a good bite. My mouth is watering looking at this, oh my God. Honestly, just the honey on top of the chicken is like really good. It's an interesting combo because this cheese is like really wet, <laughs> but it's really good. So I definitely recommend trying it. Honestly, the best part about this is that there's honey on the regular chicken sandwich. That's so good. So that's what it looks like. This is awesome. I'm gonna enjoy my lunch and I will talk to you guys later. much later on Saturday and I just got back home and I figured I'd do a little Target haul for you guys. Please ignore the mess that is <laughs> the couch behind me. But anyways, um, we did do a little bit of shopping at Target and I didn't get a ton of like Halloween stuff. So I'll start off with the Halloween stuff and then go into just like regular things. So I picked up a pair of these little jack-o-lantern socks. I thought they were so cute and they have grippies on the bottom so I can kind of wear them as like slippers inside the house. And I wanna say they were like five bucks. Um, they're just cute. I don't know, I just wanted them. So picked up that and then I did find the $5 Halloween mugs. And this little guy, he's a mummy. I just thought he was darling. And to have like some um, hot cocoa in him, wouldn't that be so cute? So I picked him up. I just thought he was darling and I couldn't pass him up and he was only $5. I also picked up a costume for Kai. It's a pet royalty cape. <laughs> I thought it's so cute. This is what the dog looks like with it on. It's basically a collar, which I thought would be great because Kai hates wearing clothing or like shirts or anything like that. So I feel like this will be a better costume for him than his jack-o'-lantern that he wore last year because he did not like that and he is royalty to us. So this was $5. I just thought it was darling. So I picked that up for him. And then I also got a bag of Reese's pumpkins because they're so good. And they are minis. I didn't realize that they were minis, but I love the holiday Reese's shaped items. They're just so good. So that's all of like the Halloween stuff that I got. And then I picked up just randomly 
uh, chai tea concentrate so um, I can make like chai lattes. So that's gonna be fun. Um, I picked up a few things in like the beauty body care section. I got a little Eco Tools scalp scrub and this rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil. I saw this all over TikTok and both me and my girlfriend picked it up. She said it smelled really good, so let me just give it a sniff. Ooh, yeah, that does smell good. It smells just like rosemary. Wow, yum. Okay, uh, picked this up. It's supposed to like stimulate your scalp, so I wanna give it a shot and I've really um, been trying to do a lot more pre-wash, so like oiling my hair and oiling my scalp on the day that I plan on washing my hair. Um, so I'm gonna try that. I picked up another one of my Bioma uh, moisturizers. I'm almost out of the one that I have currently. So I picked up a new one, just a face moisturizer. And then I picked up the Tree Hut Cinnamon Dolce Sugar Scrub. They did not have the like duo pack of the coffee and cream scrub and um, body cream, but I did pick up this one because I had my eyes on it. It smells like cinnamon rolls. It smells so delicious. Like, I cannot believe that they got this wonderful scent in here. It smells, or maybe it smells like cinnamon sugar, but it smells so good. It basically smells like a, um, like a Cinnabon. So good. So I picked that up. So I saved the best for last. I did pick up these boots. I'm so excited. You guys have had them in my cart. Um, I think I saw them on Instagram originally. And I love Target's boots every year. Uh, these were $39.99. And they're this, these white boots. I was so excited. I've been looking for a pair of white boots for the past couple of years. I just don't want one with too high of a heel. And most of them had a really high heel. So ah, I cannot believe I found these. They're so cute. I'm very much looking forward to wearing these. Ah, they're so adorable. So I'm head over heels. I'm so excited. So that was like my, the thing that I was really going for was to see if they had it in stock so I could see them personally because um, I had them in my cart online, but I couldn't tell if they were super cute. So seeing them in person though, they are adorable. So that was my little haul. Um, I picked up some random stuff like floss picks and Q-tips, <laughs> but you guys don't care about that stuff. So anyways, so that's my little Target haul. Um, today was so nice. Um, I basically just went over to my mom's house, watched the LSU football game while just like sitting and being lazy on the couch um, and then decorated for fall. I don't think I showed you guys. Did I show you the final product? I hope I did. Um, but I just love decorating their house for fall. It always turns out so beautiful. Um, and then uh, me and my girlfriend went to Target and came home. So it was just like a nice little day spent with my parents and I had a lot of fun. So anyways, um, tomorrow, not a lot of plans. I think I'm gonna go get ready for bed now. It's 9.45 and just kind of go to bed early because I do plan on um, running in the morning and then I'll probably take Kai out too to go on like a longer W-A-L-K. -okay and get groceries and that's about the plans for tomorrow so anyways um that is everything for tonight i'm gonna put all this stuff away and i will see you guys tomorrow hello guys it is sunday it's like 11 30 I just did a morning run had some breakfast slash lunch and my Cincy fall order came in I'm so excited so I've kind of ordered it up here um this is all like well actually I've only ordered the bottom this is like the Halloween since these are all fall so I picked up another vanilla bean buttercream we got a cashmere leaves this one surprised me how yummy it smelled um I picked up two pumpkin rolls I don't remember picking up two but I guess I did. I don't know. But it does smell really good. It's kind of light right now, though. I think it just needs to sit a little longer. I picked up a pumpkin cinnamon swirl. I picked up a few apple ones. Apple cherry strudel. That one smells really good. Baked apple pie. Dutch apple bread. This one also smells great. And then two uh, Make Me Snickerdoodles. I love these for both fall and winter. And then the Haunted Mansion scent, which smells really, really yummy. The Harry Potter Just and Loyal Hufflepuff Scentsy Bar, the Harry Potter Bar, 
the Scary Good and Gimme Candy. So I'm gonna do like a full haul on these and give you like my first thoughts on my sniffs and stuff, but I just really wanted to share with you guys my haul. Hello guys, it is now Monday and I'm just gonna go ahead and close off the vlog here. Um, yesterday was really nice, just had a very chill day, did a lot of cooking and just meal prepping and cleaning for the week and that was the whole vlog i hope you guys enjoyed like i said i had really a lot of fun doing these black nails for like kind of semi halloween but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog and the little target haul and stuff and i will see you all in the next video bye